Hi, um, Danielle Silver here. We are in the Abbey News in Glastonbury today, and um, I'm just going to go and have a look in this um, art exhibition here of all the local artists in Glastonbury. This place is a bit, bit tucked away. It's opposite the sort of chemist, near enough opposite the um, post office. Anyway, we're going to go on in here a minute and have a word with this lady. Hi. Hello. Um, what's your name again? Hello, nice. Let's be professional about this. Let me put my sandwich away. <laughs> She's just eating her lunch. I've just caught her on the hop. Wonderful, wonderful timing. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, what's your name again? Right, I'm Sarah Clay. Sarah Clay. Um, I'm one of the members of this collective, mm -hmm. which is currently called Abbey Muse Collective. We've been in, in this building for about eight or nine years. Yeah. And it started off the back of the Development Trust, which I'm involved with. Um, started off ran a series of return to work courses um, okay. back then. Yeah. Oh good, it must be ten years ago now. Yeah. Um, they were themed you know, for particular people, some, some for single parents, some for people who had, were disabled or who had been long term yeah. ill or something. Oh, right. We did one for one, which, I th which was my idea, for starving artists, oh, which lovely. is called Artwork, yeah. how to make a living collect, uh, creatively, yeah. and that was great fun. But off the back of that, several people on that first course mm. um, decided to start a, ga a cooperative gallery together. So that, this is and what it's this been is. Running, yeah. It's been running ever since. We've had about mm. five different names. We've been in different units. And, okay. Yeah. And this is all local artists in Glastonbury? Well, almost all of them are. Yeah. Oh, there are one or two who live a bit further yeah. afield. Yeah. But, Can we have a quick but, look round then? Is oh, right? absolutely. Thank Please you. Do. Thank. So, do you want to have a sort of um, have a look at some of this work here? That's unusual, isn't it? This here. Those are Sandra's. That's Sandra. Who, who you met. That's nice, isn't it? And uh, where's your work then? Is your work here? My, yeah, mine are at the far end of this wall. So. See, some of these are quite, really quite spiritual, aren't they? Yeah. This, this one here. This, who says this one here? Not mine. That's you, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. And what were you feeling when you done this picture? What? Well, well, this one. This one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Interestingly. It, it's, it came out completely differently than I'd expected, um, but it, I'd started with, from a, a, there was, there was a, a snapshot of Kathy Jones and the goddess troupe coming down yeah. the, the tour wearing uh, pretty dresses and flowers yeah, in their hair, yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah. so that, that was the start of an idea for a painting that yeah. wasn't going to be them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but when I read Mists of Avalon back back thirty odd years ago, before I came here, um, that's what I saw. Uh, okay. That was what was in my mind. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's they beautiful. weren't they weren't hu they, they weren't human living people. Yeah, they were. They, they were they were people in spirit. Okay. As, yeah. as, as what I took that to be. Yeah. And yeah. coming down coming down. From and this is this one of yours. Yeah. And um, can you tell? This is really interesting. This one. Uh, there is there is a particular trick of the brain um, and perception called pareidolia. Okay. And it's basically if you look at any sort of abstract pattern, like pebbles on a path or uh, a stone wall was Leonardo's uh, uh, Leonardo da, da Vinci's example of it, and you start to see patterns mm. and. And, or that, and faces, mm. icy faces. I didn't know what I was going to paint when I painted that. I just mm. splashed some colour on mm. and then I started mm. seeing people. Wow. It wasn't the first do, one of us. Do, do, do you feel that you work with spirit? Do you feel? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, no question. And about. is that yours? No, no. These are Angela Watson. They're, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah. And she's probably the best of us. Yeah. Um, well, a little bad. Sort of yeah. the most professional. <laughs> yeah. She's, um, she, she teaches art. She's been yeah. teaching for a long time. Yeah. So, and, uh, if you could just go around this and just show uh, you yeah. some of the... Angela uh, used to run the Blue Cedar Gallery. By yeah. Then. Who's hmm. this one up here? That's interesting. Yeah. Now, these are fascinating. These are, these are An Anthony's, uh, Anthony Butterfield. And how he works is he paints uh, in oils on the back of gla on glass. And then he turns it over. Wow! After it's dry. Yeah. His technique is amazing. We, we it's just awesome. And that's awesome. him here, isn't it? Is that a picture that's of him? That's Anthony. Yep. Yep. And, and interestingly, he's got a. 
he's, he, he's got an exhibition at Bishop's Palace just at the moment. Oh, lovely. All oh, right, so we'll film on that then, Grace. So, Anthony uh, is, is the one of us who doesn't mind the shop. Yeah. Well, his wife does it for him because he's, he's a bit sort of, uh, firstly, very busy in the country. Yeah, and who's this? Who's Kath. This? Kath was one of the original founders of this gallery. That's Kath Caveney. Um, and she started out doing pet portraits oh, on right. commission. On a little, and she's branched tiny. out into all kinds of animals and sometimes with toys in the background. Yeah. So just miniatures. She just, yeah. you know, so, so she's an animal portraitist. Artist. Yeah. I'm a people portrait artist. <laughs> yeah. People yeah. And um, yeah. And so should we go over here, Grace, and have a, who, this is an interesting one. Yeah, it looks a bit like this in boots. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Who's this that yeah. one? Um, that is Donna. Donna is our Donna Bryan. She's our newest member, mm -hmm. and uh, and she lives in Wells, mm. and she's. Fairly new to the area, I so think. She's not Glastonbury then, yeah. She's not. Oh, but, well, no, yeah, she yeah. she is Glastonbury. She just doesn't happen to live in town. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. We make that distinction. So, so this, this now, is... Jane Stewart, who has been with us almost from the beginning, she she's a regular visitor to Glastonbury, but she and, and she's an art therapist and she works for the NHS. In, she's oh, Reading right. based, but she comes here often. Yeah. And and she's I been like one of the she, most. You start. Yeah. yeah that's... You know, yeah, her framing is really, really interesting. But um, she's her subjects are divided between um, mystical stuff and horses. Mm, yeah. Um, let me show you. Yeah. These are the, the, these are miniatures on her business cards, but uh, but she'll do a lot of uh, she does a lot of. Um, Pictures of horses because she's got horses. Okay. She's riding on the back of that yeah, horse. Oh, right. <laughs> and who, who's is this one here? This one. That's an unusual one, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, oh that that's Donna's as well. That's w different, isn't it? it? I don't yeah. know. It's unusual, that one. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're all just She was here this morning. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So if anybody wants to um, get hold of or get involved in this, is this, this the. Um, that's it. That's the advertisement there for it. Yep. You can take that with you if you like. Okay. <laughs> Shoot it properly. Oh yeah, is that right? Here we go. Okay, well, thanks for chatting to me today. Oh, no and, problem. And, um, Hopefully, it'll come out all right. <laughs> yeah, and this is on um, my uh, channel called uh, Danielle Silver Medium. Okay, right. and on YouTube. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for okay. talking to me today. Yeah, we, as I said, we've been going for about ten years. Uh, yeah. Uh, with, with, um, Constantly changing membership, yeah. but there are yeah. three or four of us who've been yeah. involved in one way or another from yeah. the very beginning. But so, what sort of days are you open again? So people know. Um, Monday through Saturday, more or less from eleven to four, depending oh, yeah. on whether okay. one of us is available to come. Yeah. Okay, and can <laughs> people put their work in here? Is there like a list, a waiting list to put your work in? Um, interestingly, we we a couple of people left, and a couple of people have just joined, so it's just, yeah, yeah, so it's a so regular turnover. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Uh, we could squeeze in one more person if we okay. had to. All right, well, thank let, you. Let me put it another way, we could always squeeze in one more <laughs> okay. person. Okay, well, thank you very much yeah. for your time today. Bye-bye. Okay, we're going to just go over um, now to the shop, out completely dead opposite now, and um, it's um, a, a music shop, but with a bit of a difference. Okay. Um, this man who's got this shop, he does some really unusual things. He makes guitars out of like everyday objects. I mean, this one's made out of, it looks like a sort of metal bowl, and he's done that, so that's a bit different. And, um, sorry, I'm just going to look around the shop. He's actually serving somebody at the moment, so we're going to look around the shop a minute. See what he's got in here. They are so rude in there actually. They tried to manipulate everything I was saying and turn it's it around to being my fault. Different and stuff. Any and I think he takes stuff in to fix it. I think I'm not quite sure. That's I'm going to talk to him in a minute. But um, just have a quick look around. Yeah, just look at the cards. Mm -hmm. um, oh, look at that comic card. Yeah. Okay. This one here. Look. He's made another guitar out here for some sort of can. Which is, can you go around the front, Grace? Go around the front. Which is 
really different. That's and really th there's one shape. made out of a... I don't know what that is there. Actually. That's made out of that. Um, a computer. So I meant that might be just a casing, obviously. Um, they said to me, it's a really tiny little shop and it's directly opposite the Abbey Muse Art Gallery. And he's made this one out of like something you put in the um, the oven, which is really quaint and different. Does it make a massive difference? Huh? You pick, if you pick up the tin ones, someone else made them ones. Oh, wait, okay. Yeah. Okay, and um, I think we're going to have to leave this to another day, okay? So, um, uh, anyway, I did, yeah, but you were in the middle of something, so um, I didn't want to... I just, I'm in the middle of filming and you're in the... Sorry, there's somebody been served here, so I'm sort of in the middle of it. Don't ask me the question, sorry. So I just quickly wanted to ask you, Mark, how long have you had this shop? Since May the 4th. May the 4th. Yes. And, um, and uh, what is all this unusual objects you've got here? The, the um, guitars made out of tins and this sort of thing. Do you do, you do these yourself? I, do, I make guitars out of all sorts of weird stuff. And how long have you been doing that? So there's a guitar there that's made out of a... A uh, U.S. Army petrol can. Yeah, the body it's really of the guitar is a petrol can. And, yeah, it's uh, really different. There's another one there that's made out of a Macintosh computer. Yeah, and and um, do you put repair people's instruments as well? I do repair people's instruments. Yeah. And yeah. Um, yeah, ask me something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now you offered me something when I first come in earlier. What uh, was that? Right. I offered you a card. Yeah. Well, this could only. This, no, do you this could, you this could, you this could only happen in Glastonbury. <laughs> Everybody's coming together at once because we're all doing this. But basically, as I walked in here earlier today, Mark offered me a card, which is really unusual. Let's see what happens. Oh my God. Okay. I can't see what it is. It says thought. Well, look, that could be me, the thinker. Yeah. This is so I model myself on thinking. Right. I okay. like the idea of thinking. This is my favourite painting up here. Yeah. Oh. So wow. that guy is that my cushion. sort of it's you and it. Isn't it? Hero, yeah. Oh, is it Hans that's Christian? Hans Christian Anderson. Well maybe. then that's me then. No, you go on the, the Hans Christian Anderson of like guitars, maybe. Oh yeah. Well he was he was a bit quirky, wasn't he? And he did things differently and it's good because you know, different is good. It's it's out there. It's what we're all about, really. It's um, so I've been brave enough to to experiment with different these things. I give people messages. So you're in this particular shop for a reason. Okay. Focus on the instrument that expresses the divine purpose that you are. So the instruments in the shop are special, one of a kind, just like you. Mm. So notice, life is fleeting. What you see before you will be gone in a moment. Wow. So unblock creativity. Act now. It will be gone if you don't. And a life Absolutely. without purpose, I've twisted the uh, yeah, saying a little bit. Absolutely. A life without purpose is a life of complaint. Yeah. And um, this is my little thing here. Yeah. Feel noise, see magic. Yeah, That's oh, lovely. Yeah. I, I like that. I yeah, really man. like that. Feel noise, see magic. So what, t so, so what times are you open, Mark? What times am I open? I'm yeah. open from 11 o'clock in the morning. I had it at 11, 11. I yeah. thought Ascension time was a good time to open, but yeah. it's confused so many people, I've just made it simpler. So 11 yeah. o'clock in the morning till 4 o'clock in the evening. Okay. Abbey Muse Arcade. <coughs> yeah, okay. So it's Glastonbury a, High Street. So that's another wonderful place in Glastonbury to go. And um, where else could you go and find beautiful guitars made out of, um, well, kitchen and <laughs> kitchen objects and all sorts, so it's, 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 it's amazing. Yeah, right. Nowhere else. Nowhere else, anywhere so, else and, you get a, and you get a, a card for the day, which is wonderful. So don't forget to um, subscribe, Daniel Silver Medium. And um, don't forget to say goodbye, Mark. Bye. 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 -bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs>